today we're going to work on a prompt about where we live. Welcome, this is Barbara from Vienna, Austria, and this is your channel for vintage inspired art. So I'm looking at my prompt list here, which you can find linked below, and I've printed it on a coffee dyed paper because it will go into my journal later on. So it's number 12, write about where you live and what you would like to change, if anything. So this is where we are at the moment with the journal pages we've made so far. As a reminder, we don't have an actual journal yet to put these in and we will integrate them into some kind of cover and binding once I have everything together that I want. <laughs> so last in the last spread or in the last episode, we made this spread using our stamps in a creative way. And if you missed any of my journal with me, and if you want to see how I created any of these pages, then please see the playlist for my junk journal with me that I have linked for you down below. So today I wanted to work on this page here, and I love the freedom of working on this while it's not in a book and I, have to, I don't have to worry about it being hard to access or it being too bulky or anything. So I'm really enjoying the freedom of working on single pages. So I decided I'm going to make a pocket. This is going to be a very simple spread and I'm going to make a po pocket out of some music sheet. And this is some paper with music from a waltz which originated in Austria, in Vienna. And the, why this all becomes relevant, you will see later on when I talk about the city that I live in. And yeah, so let's get started with making a pocket here first. And I'm going to make this pocket pretty much full size my, of my page. So I'm gonna start off by tearing some of this white space away just with a ruler. These old kind of pages are not easy to cut with your trimmer because usually they will tear and I definitely don't want that. So now I'm just gonna see how wide it can be. Just a little more narrow than the width of the page and I do want it to be pretty much as tall as the page as well. So that will fit perfectly. And on the top, since I want to be able to access what I will be putting in a little better, I'm going to use a punch. I have this five centimeter or two inch scalloped punch that I got locally. And I will make a half scalloped circle on top here. <laughs> Actually it looks like someone bit into the page, right? <laughs> but that's okay. I will of course ink around all the edges with my vintage photo. I will also ink around the edges of this page. I want everything vintage looking as much as possible, even though this is just a white page. And next I will take this to my sewing machine and stitch around here so that in the end it will look like it was actually stitched onto the page. And the reason why I'm not actually doing that is because I don't wanna have the stitch around here because I don't know yet what I'm going to be doing here, but that you could obviously do that if that doesn't bother you. So I've stitched around the edges. And I just want to show you what my zigzag stitch looks like because I don't think this is normal. <laughs> Can you see this? This is my zigzag stitch. I'm not kidding. I've never seen this on a machine before. This is a fairly cheap machine and this is what the zigzag stitch looks like. I mean, it's cute, but it's weird. This is the back side. So on the back side, it looks more like a traditional zigzag stitch. 
I just think it's very strange. But okay, I have a unique zigzag stitch. I can live with that. So obviously, if you don't have a sewing machine, then just skip this page or do it by hand if you are so inclined. I'm now going to take my art glitter glue to glue the three sides down to make this into an actual pocket. And now, of course, I want to decorate this pocket a little bit more. One thing I've already printed out is this historic picture of the center of Vienna. So I wanted to include that. I think it's a really cute picture. I just Googled historic Vienna illustrations and this is what I got. It is a bit big. I don't wanna put it like this. I'm just going to cut cut it off a little bit that'll still be okay okay so I cut this piece off yeah and now it will fit nicely so I've inked around all the edges and then I of course want to add a little more elements to make the pocket a little more interesting so I already chose some things that I think will work well this is a label from the Digital Collage Club. I have, I have the Digital Collage Club linked below for you in case you're interested in checking them out. Then this was in a Happy Mail. I've already inked around it. He's so cute. I think the bird works well here because bird singing music kind of theme I think that works at least in my brain it does <laughs> and I have a doily which has been coffee dyed and it's kind of torn here but it doesn't matter because that part will disappear doilies always make great backgrounds in my opinion so something like this what do you think yes I do like that so let me glue these elements down and I'll be right back. Everything is glued down now. And I thought maybe we could use a little bit of music washi as well. Maybe this one, this one stands out a bit more. And finally, I want to add the word Vienna somewhere. So I will stamp that. I'm going to use the piece of the strip of music paper that I tore off is perfect for stamping. So I'm going to use these clickable alphabet stamps, which I will link for you below. And now I'm just realizing the difficulty. Unfortunately, this stamp set only has one end. So this is always difficult to try to stamp a word nicely when you have to kind of do it in two parts. But I will try, try my best to make it work. I'm gonna use my vintage photo might be a few tries to get this and this is not dark enough so vn and now i just need an a yeah that's too close <laughs> okay i'm just going to i'm just going to take this one and be done with it <laughs> i will tear around this We'll, of course, ink around it. So where do we put it? Let me just put some glue on here. No, 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 no. Because I might want to put something under it. <laughs> so where could we put it? We could put it up here. We could put, oh, I kind of like it down here in the middle, actually. 
Yeah, I'm not going to put anything else underneath. I think this is good. Just center it here. So there's the Vienna. Okay, and now for the actual journaling part of this. In advance, I've already written down quite a few things about this lovely city, which I have then printed on coffee dyed paper. You <laughs> see, it's quite a lot. And I wanna stick this in the pocket. And so that I don't bore you to death with just reading this, I thought I'd put together a few, kind of like a presentation for you to get a taste of what this city uh, Vienna is is like <laughs> enjoy located in central Europe Austria is completely landlocked and the vast majority of the German speaking country is covered by the Alps as such most of Austria is very mountainous and lots of alpine valleys lakes and charming villages and towns can be found scattered among its many foothills Vienna is the capital and is located on a plain with the Danube running through it and it acts as the center of the country as a quarter of Austria's population lives there. So I am one of the lucky ones <laughs> to live here in Vienna because Vienna has a unique blend of imperial traditions and stunning modern architecture as well and it's famous for its cultural events, its imperial sites, its coffee houses with the most lovely pastries and cakes, cozy taverns and the special Viennese charm. Vienna is the only capital city in the world to produce significant quantities of wine within its city limits. The best way to enjoy the local Viennese wine is in a so-called Heurige, which is a wine tavern, or by walking along Vienna's wine trail. Vienna is also often called the city of music or the world's capital of music as more famous composers have lived here than in any other city in the world. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven, Joseph Haydn, Franz Schubert, Johann Strauss and Johannes Brahms are just a few who called Vienna their home. Vienna is also called the city of dreams. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, lived and worked in Vienna for much of his career. He had a significant impact on the city, causing it to be known as the birthplace of psychotherapy. The famous French pastry, the croissant, actually has Viennese origins. Bea, did you hear that? Did you know this? <laughs> Bea is my friend in France. I'm guessing she will watch this video. <laughs> They're based on the Austrian Kipfel, <laughs> which means crescent in German. Bakers in Vienna made Kipfel to commemorate Austria's victory over the Ottoman Turks in 1683. And their shape is based on the crescents seen on the uniform of the enemy. In 1770, when Maria Antoinette of Austria married King Louis the 18th of France, she introduced her favorite pastry to France. The French made a few changes and called it a croissant. <laughs> I love these kind of facts. The snow globe was also invented in Vienna and I must say I did not know this until I read this. In 1900, Erwin Percy, a fine instruments mechanic, was trying to improve the brightness of light bulbs for a surgical lamp, but instead he accidentally invented a snow globe. Now I don't know how that happens, but he did it. This first snow globe featured the Basilica of Maria Zell and was the catalyst for Percy and his brother to open the original Vienna snow globe shop. I've never been there. I didn't even know we had it. So shame on me. <laughs> Over a hundred years later, they are still making traditional so snow globes right in Vienna, all hand painted and manually assembled. 
Like Berlin, Vienna also was divided into four parts after World War II and occupied by the United States, France, United Kingdom and Soviet Union. The first district of Vienna, the inner city, was administered by all four powers. The occupation and division of Vienna ended in 1955 with the Austrian State Treaty. Vienna has been noted the world's most livable city numerous times and again last year in 2019, putting it just ahead of Melbourne, Sydney and Osaka. Taking into account such factors as political, social and economic climate, medical care, education, recreational opportunities, environmental conditions, infrastructural conditions. Vienna consistently comes out on top. So I guess there's nothing for me to change. <laughs> I love this city. It has the right size for me. It's, it's a really nice place to live. It's clean. It's relatively safe. The climate is okay. I mean, it's getting warmer like in a lot of other countries. But overall, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. So now that you've learned a little bit more about where I live, maybe you'll come visit me someday after this pandemic has finally stopped and you can travel again. Maybe you can come visit me. If you do, just drop me a line. We'll hang out. We'll go to my favorite places. I'll show you all the places where to get beautiful vintage supplies for your journals. So in the meantime, I want to put this in my pocket and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. Like so. And since this, well, actually, let me see if the width is okay. It's with the gluing, I don't know. Oh. A tight fit very tight fit no 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 this is not working so I should have checked that before so I will have to fold it a little more I don't know if that helped <laughs> let me check no uh, no okay now let's do this there, that will definitely work. That's definitely narrow enough. Okay, and then I want to also kind of fold it like this because I want to add a wax seal. But I want to attach it, I want to attach it in a way that I can easily still open it without having to break the seal. So I'm just going to fold one part up and one part down. Now, of course, this is pretty small for our pocket, but okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> and the way I'm gonna do the seal is I'm going to first just take like a kind of a parchment paper, baking paper, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm going to light my candle. And then I'm going to melt some of my sealing wax. And I bought this very cool seal off Instagram. How cool is this? It's a bear and it has a B, but the B is for Barbara. <laughs> so I'm gonna stamp him. And then we'll just let that sit for a second. Okay, I think it's dried now, so let me take off the seal. Yes, oh, and it comes right off the parchment paper. So this is the beautiful bee seal. Now, we could, I've actually never done that, but I've seen it so many times on Instagram. We could put some gilding wax on top. Should we, should we? <laughs> so in case you said no, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> So this is my copper gilding wax. I will link a similar one down below for you. So it's solid, but then with, with the warmth of your fingers, it will warm up. And I have had loads of fun with this with many projects. 
and yes this is beautiful B for beautiful there you go love it <laughs> So now all we have to do is glue this onto our paper. So I'm only going to add glue to the bottom, not the whole thing, very important. And I'm using my three-in-one glue because I know this holds really, really strong. So I'm going to, so I have, have this folded and now I'm going to glue it so that just the top part is sticking in there where there's no glue underneath and I'm going to hold this tight until the glue till I have a feeling that the glue is sticking well so once that is stuck down well your paper will just fold up like this and then you can easily open it like that And now all we need to do is to put this into our little pocket. Actually, it's not so little. <laughs> like that. Easiest page ever. <laughs> Another thing you could, of course, add to your pocket if you're going to be writing about your city is adding beautiful photos. They don't have to be vintage photos. You can add photos that you've taken yourself, which would make it really special. You could look up your city and maybe you'll be surprised about facts you'll find about your city that you haven't even realized. So I, I think this is a fun prompt. You can take it as far as you want and make it as simple as you want. Don't forget to post your pages on Instagram under the hashtag 49 dragonfly summer 2020 if you have an Instagram account that way we can inspire each other with different ideas of what we can do with these prompts so thank you as always for hanging out with me love you guys Mwah. Mwah.